Hello, my lovely subscribers. Today is a very special day here on Bohemian Crafting. We are celebrating amazing milestone together. 45,000 incredible subscribers. I can't even believe this number. I just noticed that today at morning that I do have there 45,015 amazingly awesome subscribers. Really, it was so surprising for me to see this number. And uh, I'm coming today to say a huge thank you for every single one of you, really. That, that's you. I, you just made my day today, really. I will start to smile immediately when I saw that number. It's incredible. I just want to say that all your support and all your messages and... The engagement with every single one of my videos and sharing on Instagram, you know, when I do find that somebody made something inspired by my video and you share that with me, it's so amazing. And that was uh, kind of pushing me to make more videos. So thank you so, so much for that. Whether you've been with me right from the beginning or you just joined us, uh, joined this family recently. It means so much to me that you are here with me. And I would like to say thank you for that. Uh, I have prepared, I'm going to show you, I have prepared little freebies for you. Inspired by Orloi, uh, which is amazing, beautiful vintage clocks in the Prague. I love these clocks. They are awesome. They are so beautiful and so interesting to watch when they are working so inspired by orloi from prague from my homeland capital city of my homeland i have created a little pop-up for you it's like freebie links will be down below uh, there is link for uh, two sizes a4 size which i do have here and then us letter size it does have a little bit different spread of the images just because i need to fit it in that size but uh, parts are exactly same size of these parts is exactly same on a4 and also on us letter size i do have here this uh, that's what i'm gonna fussy cut out all these images i did print out my images on 200 gsm cardstock uh, i'm gonna fussy cut out these circles then the label and uh, here that label as well and this is actually moving part so i'm gonna fussy cut out all my pieces and i will come back don't forget to click down below you will uh, on the description uh, description box under that video you will see there the link for uh, on patreon site it is uh, open to the public it's not something you have to subscribe for it's for free so don't be afraid that it's on my patreon site it's a public post so you can just download for free it's in description i do have fussy cut out these pieces i did fussy cut out the circle from inside of this clock i do have it here so first what i'm gonna do i'm gonna glue these two parts together this inside to those small clocks it will reinforce that little circle and i will find the usage for that off cut And I also want to cut out the circle from here, but before I will do so, I'm going to take one cardstock, this beautiful brown craft card, and I'm going to be using that craft card to create a card. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to glue this on my card, or I can maybe first cut this in the decent size, so I know it will... go here so I know I should fold it here very easy way so this will hold my card here and I'm gonna cut it somewhere here so I'm gonna cut my cardstock where I made the mark here on the bottom and also right behind this front front page 
and I do have base for my card. Now I can glue this part on the front of my cardstock. I'm gonna glue it right here. Now I'm gonna fussy cut out this circle like this. So I do have base of my card done. I have created the front panel only in that design just because you can add it to any background like here in this creation I did use background paper and I made just hinge here the background paper which I glued to my designed paper here to this green paper was longer just about half inch than it's my designed paper here so it was longer just about this it's ending right here and uh, the end of this paper I used to glue all this to my background here I hope that makes sense so then I had a space here to glue this pocket here I do have prepared my pieces now I'm gonna move to this moving part this is the most important part of all of this uh, I'm gonna get up ruler and scoring tool I do have here these bulk point um, pens so I'm gonna get up one of these and there are small lines one line is here another one is here 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 and then we do have cross right here all of these lines uh, I need to score and fold. So I'm gonna start with these straight lines. One, two, three, and four. Now one here. And now the cross, it's from this corner to this corner. Now from this corner to here, it's like extension, so to this corner. Now fold this, fold this. Fold this one and we're gonna fold these and the opposite one now with your fingers we try to push these lines inside and push it together push 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 so you will end up with this one like here another like here and this one here open it first this part will get glued here and it's like reinforcement of this so glue it down And let it dry. Now grab your moving parts. Open the card here. Uh, take ruler and pencil. And uh, take centimeters. They are more precise. Put your centimeters with 5.8 somewhere here on the edge of your card. 5.8. And make a mark here. That's the middle of your circle. Here. At this point, we're gonna glue our moving part. So I do have my moving part here on the last fold. I'm gonna put the glue. And I will try to imagine middle of this somewhere here. And that I will put on my middle of this 
kind of much middle with middle. And plus place your moving part with the fold right here. Now take alloy clocks, these. I do have, where is the 12? Uh, it's here, 12. It's here, so I'm going to hold the 12 here. I'm going to slide the clocks around, place the clocks in that circle-ish. And now fold these. And we're gonna put the glue here on this one. You need to kind of unfold it, fold it down. And now what do you see that it's covering your ring? Put there a glue. Like this. Now fold this back. And glue. Now take your smaller part, those smaller clocks, and uh, try to imagine what you would like to see be moving here. I'm going to show you what it is. It's this one. So try to imagine which part of these clocks you would like to see to be moving here. Hold that part so I think I would like to have seen I would like to see this I'm gonna hold it here place my clocks down and here I need to remember that I can't go over this edge and over this fold so place it somewhere here and you can go as far as the end of this part of this leg So inside, more inside you will go, less you will see here. This one I did glued somehow like this. That I was very close to this edge and very close to that fold. So somehow like this I did glued the circle here. And you can see how much you can see when it's moving. Now I'm going to place it a little bit more inside, so you will see the difference in the end. I'm going to put the glue on this, on this feet here, on this one. Place it down and let it dry. And because we are with that gluing, now we're going to put the glue here on this last rectangle. Do not put the glue on this triangle here because the triangle is lifting up. It's that moving part. So put the, the glue just on this rectangle here, on this last rectangle. And fold your card. Press and let it dry. We will try. Don't want to move it too fast. If it will be not glued properly yet, it will don't move properly. It looks like it's holding. Okay, you saw the movement of that little circle. So now we're going to take this last circle and we're going to glue it right here on the top. I'm going to put the glue here on this middle part. I think I can go that far, yeah. And place this circle on the top. And again, I let it dry. And I think I moved that uh, bottom circle a little bit, so it's not sitting well in my, <laughs> in my circle. I made it much, much better way here. I've been very slow with that movement here. I kind of rush. So now, hopefully it's dry and you can see that move, movement like this. 
So that's moving part of the alloy clocks. You can uh, use also these labels and create some decoration or place it here and put there some writing. Do any kind of decoration uh, as you want. Uh, I have created a little cluster of it right here before and I think I will do probably same. I'm going to keep it open for now because I'm not sure where I will use this moving part right now. And I'm always making kind of like end <laughs> decorations when, once I'm done, nearly done, I mean. So here you can see when it's placed on the acetate sheet, which is made like a pocket. I did use for gluing, I did use a double-sided tape because of that acetate sheet. But all steps were pretty much very similar. And that's our alloy clocks. In the description box down below, there will be also a link to Wikipedia uh, column about alloy clocks. So if you never heard about uh, these clocks, go to have a look. They are really beautiful and they are so amazing with all these moving parts. They are just amazing. So that's all about this alloy clock, uh, my freebie for you. It's like my little thank you for all your amazing uh, support you are giving me all that time. I hope you will enjoy to create these. I hope you will find the space in your heart for these little clocks. I would love to see your creations. So uh, if you do have Instagram and you will create something using these digitals, please tag me there at their uh, at Bohemian Crafting and I will find you. So once again, thank you so, so much to every single one of you for amazing support you are giving me all that time for being part of this awesome craft community here on Bohemian Crafting, for support you are showing me, for all your lovely comments, messages and everything you do for me. I hope we will create so much more and we all will enjoy it. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Take care of yourself and I will come back soon. Bye for now.